Dave podcast, a lot of times when you when you get there with Sandra and I, we're laughing. And it's just the other day we were laughing so hard. I go, I better hit the record button. And so let's all let's have a little belly laugh to get this get this show on the road. So think about something you're really grateful for that's really funny and let's have a laugh. Ha 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 ha
the my assistants and I who pack it, the cat who always prays over the wind whistles, it's it's like clockwork. And then back to the postal workers who carry it to your house. And that doesn't even begin to start to talk about the people who've made the boxes, the people who made the tape, and what you've done with your own hands and hard work and heart in order to be able to buy these whistles. So let's close our eyes and let's go through in our mind as I play this first wind whistle for us and thank all of the people who are interconnected and oh, and you too, all of the members of this wind clan who, who keep expanding and growing and bringing this work forward. And remember, we are all connected through the wind. Every breath out is a breath that connects you to the person next to you, the person down the street, the person in the next state, the person in the next country. Our wind is the breath that connects us to all. And so when we do, when we do this sacred ceremony of waking up our wind breath, our wind whistles, we're actually waking up the sacredness in our breath of everything that's connected to each and everything around the world and beyond, beyond. That's just, that's just an illusion that this is all that there is, there's more. And so we're, we're calling this as a ceremony. So I've lit a candle and Hank Wesselman used to, when he was traveling all the time, he had this tuna can that he would put his candle in now, some people are way more flamboyant and they could have a whole row of candles back there and crystals, but intention is everything in this particular thing because it has to be. Otherwise, the wind would never have picked me. I'm not a big pomp and circumstance kind of girl. I'm very windy. I come in like a breath of fresh air, stir up everything and let it settle again. Now, I wanna talk about ways you can smudge. And I don't want to do any disservice to anyone else's traditions. So I wanted to tell you about a few different ways here. I have some copal, which I, I really like the smell of copal. I have some sage and sage is something that I pick that I have access to picking. I go up, I sprinkle water, I do it with reverence. I thank the plant and it's in my backyard right in the, where I, where the desert floor meets the mountain. And so I get to, I get to have this relationship with Sage. Now, some of you might not have that relationship with Sage. And when you go buy it in those stores, not to mention that they didn't have, probably have much of a relationship with the Sage to start with. It isn't as meaningful as if you took and made a, your own smudge stick. Thank you, Tambra, from the things that you grew in your own own yard and this happens to have some lavender and uh, some desert sage in there and so it's it's more important that you use the ingredients you can actually use tobacco if that's something that's more local to you to to do olympia to clean and so what we're going to do first is we've lit our candle and i'm going to use sage because that's what i have a relationship with after 10 years uh, of carrying the blankets and carrying the water and carrying the grandfathers into the lodge, I have a relationship with the sage. And so what we want to do is we want to, we want to light our sage. And with a grateful heart, remember, we're connecting this to everything. So if you're in a bad mood, you're in a mad mood, whatever, maybe that's not the day to wake up your wind whistle. So I went around and saged everything before we got here, but why don't you take a little bit of sage now and, and put some into your heart, you know, feel it coming into your heart and into your home. Can you feel that? 
Okay. And then we're going to wake up a whistle and the whistle I'm going to wake up is the Mario whistle. That's what I'm calling this one. And these are the new whistles in our wind whistler toolkits. And I'm going to start, I'm going to start by saging it. Again, remember, this is your ritual. You can do it however you want. And we've got our candle lit. And then I'm going to actually call to the cardinal directions to bless this wind. And oh, for those of you who are just learning how to use your wind whistle, now there's the place where you blow. <laughs> and then on the bottom of the wind whistle is there's the place where the air comes out. And so I use my hand to regulate how I let the flow of that air go. And so that's why you might see me sometimes moving my hand, moving it a little bit. And then you bring this up to your mouth. And for those of you who wanted to clean it, you could. And then So we're going to start by calling to Eurus the east wind and these are the cardinal winds and you can learn a lot more about the cardinal winds in my book winds of spirit and if you got a wind whistle and you didn't get a book yet this might be a great time to get one there the the kindles on sale right now 99 cents so let's call to Eurus the east wind so close your eyes and if you have your wind whistles and you're doing this along with me close your eyes put both feet firmly planted on the ground, bend your knees because you want this wind to come in from all of you. So we're going to breathe in maybe to the count of eight or nine, you breathe in, in and hold it. And then we're going to connect to yours, the east wind. And in this breath out, we're going to connect with yours, the east wind, for new beginnings, our new adventure with this wind whistle. And then we're going to turn and face to the south. And for, the, for those of you who have a lot of wind, you could do that three times if you want. We're going to do the south wind now. We're going to call to the south wind. And you can go up on the mountaintop and do this. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this in my living room because it's traffic hour and the cars are going by. Oh my word, as soon as I started doing this, the wind has started up in the yard. And you might find this to be signs that you're getting the signs that you need. And the wind was not blowing. So now we're going to call to notice the south wind that this instrument, this vessel of clay that came to us from the earth and the water and hands that lovingly formed it, the fire that set it, the people who packed it, the postal workers who shipped it, that this wind whistle, this vessel is going to give us the emotional support we need to get through these, these coming days where the, the winds of change are blowing. So let's merge with notice. We're going to do the same thing where our knees are bent. We breathe in to the count of 10. And breathe out. And merge with notice the winds of needs and desires. And then we're going to turn to the west. 
And we're going to call upon Zephyrus, that west wind that's going to show us how we walk this road, how we walk this path with our wind, how we walk with this, this whistle, because we're going to be walking with the wind. So we want to be guided from the west wind to teach us how to do this. Breathe in. And I'm not going to turn and face the north right now because I'll be back with my back to you and it might be a little rude and you might not hear me. So then we're going to turn around to the north wind and we're going to call to Boreas and that is the, the spiritual wind that's going to guide us. The spiritual wind that's going that lives beyond the furthest mountain and it's the wind that we can call upon when we go into our wind whistling to, to teach us to show us. What is the, the what is the way of my service? What is the way of my work? Because you might have a lot of different ways that you work. The wind is just an instrument of how we all move together and stay connected. Again, let's call to the spirit of the earth, the water, the hands that made molded the clay, the fire, the people, everyone connected with this wind whistle. Let's call to their spirit. And imagine that I'm now turned to the north. And we're going to breathe in again. We're going to hold our breath. And we're going to call to Boreas, the north wind, to come here and guide our spiritual path with our whistle. And then check in with your body and see if you're not feeling a little bit more centered, a little bit more grounded. And then this whistle, it's a, it's a, a tool for stability. It's a tool for, a tool for navigating the, the changing winds around us. And then what I was requested to do for this opening was to show you how then you call into a wind to help you. I noticed on the spinning wheel up above, people always go to the quality of the wind instead of the wind spirit themselves. And the wind spirits want to come here and help you in your life, navigate this crazy, you know, predicament that we find ourselves in as human beings. Wow. I could cry. So the wind that I pulled of all things, and thank you for the confirmation. For those of you who've been following the wind for a long time, you know that you always get confirmation. When I tried to take certain cards out of the book, they appeared when I tried to organize it the way that I thought they would. No, it wasn't. So we just got Ecatel, the Aztec wind of passion, and it's about rising from the ashes. And I believe that's what we've been called to do this year is that, you know, our, our society has kind of been, you know, kind of leveled the way that we used to do things, the way that we know things it's gone. And so Gregorio is with us today because you know, these are the Aztec wind whistles. That's where we got started. And so I'm going to blow this big, big wind whistle right now. So I know I got tears and you got chills. So let's call to the spirit of these whistles that they that they grace us and that if you don't know enough about this, you might want to read it in the book. 
and also become joining us at the fire. But let's just call to this to this wind, this wind of passion that what has been put into the earth will rise again. And then we want to thank these wind spirits for coming, Eurus of the East, Notus of the South, Zephyrus of the West, Boreas of the North. And why don't we work with Ecatel a little bit while longer, um, maybe and so we'll pull another wind right at the winter solstice time because all of those people who held the fire last year, the fire tenders will know and probably remember that holiday came and she took us on a wild ride. And so maybe our passion is gonna rise here. And the, as I promised at the beginning that if you stayed, for some of you who don't have wind whistles yet or you wanna give one for the holiday, I am going to offer an unbelievable sale on our new our new wind whistler toolkits. And I will put the code down here in the Zoom. So if you're watching and you watch it later, you'll see it. But the code is going to be the Wind Whistle Club. So that you are part of the Wind Whistlers and you're gonna get the Wind Whistler Club discount. And this will be the lowest price on this new wind whistle all year long, it's going to be $75. It's going to include the wind whistle, the cards, not any of the other whistles are still on sale that end soon, but this is going to be a special price for everyone who's ready to wake up the wind in their life. And speaking of which, we want you to tend to the fire with us at imsymposium.com. And for those of you who are finding that, wow, this is really speaking to me, this is really resonating with me. We are doing a 10 month teachers training apprenticeship next year. And Bridget's interviewing candidates now. And she may interview them all because I've been really busy. And I just kept, could you do the next five? Could you do the next five? Thank you, Bridget, for being here. Love you. And in the, the fire tenders, we have uh, Bridget, we have uh, Carrie Wanamaker, who's also going to be doing a soul collage right at the new year, which I'm going to do instead of a vision board this year. And then we have Heather Lee Hoff, who's uh, hobbling around right now, just got some knee surgery, but she's going to be, they're all going to be holding space for us as we tend the fire. In all the years past, it's been about the, the teachers who were, were sharing, like the, you know, the big names. But this year, it's going to be all about the fire tenders because the winds have told me that we need our lights to shine even brighter this December because things could get a little up upended. If you don't think they've already upended, Bridget's laughing. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. We need to share our light so that the wind knows where all of us are. So join us at the I Am Symposium. And on that note, I'm going to play the Mario one more time for you. So please share with us below your experience of waking up your wind whistle because you might do it absolutely an entirely different way. And you know what? That's okay too. I'm Renee Barabo. I'm the Practical Shaman. And I am so honored to be bringing this work forward into the world. All right. Any questions, put them in the comments and I will look through it later and 
Thank you so much. I am so honored to see this group growing and to see that we are ready for our teachers training. My heart is full. Blessings to you all.